Hey guys, I'm Clay. I'm Jacob. And we're the Martin Brothers. Today we're going to be checking out Garden of the Gods. So if you want to know what Garden of the Gods is like, stick around. We're getting to it right now. All right, guys, as always, we're putting out these videos every single week. So be sure to smash that like button and give us a uh, subscribe so that you know when we drop a new video every week. We do these videos of what it's like to live in Colorado Springs to give you an idea of Colorado Springs and what it's like. So a little bit about Garden of the Gods. It's over 1,300 acres, and it's right in the middle of the west side of Colorado Springs. Um, so pretty amazing place to come over and hike and run. Tons of trails for you to be on. You can even ride horses over here, which is, is pretty wild. So when you're hiking, try not to step in any, uh, you know. Push crap. Hey man, uh, I wonder how Garden of the God got its name. Well, actually, uh, two guys, railroad surveyors, were in these parts, and they uh, they ventured over here. They found Garden of the Gods. They were absolutely blown away, as they should have been. And the one guy said, "This place should be a beer garden, right?" And the other guy was like, "No, man, this place is a garden fit for the gods." So this park gets over 2 million visitors every single year, which is crazy. So if you are going to come to the park, morning time is a great time to do it. Um, I know we, let's see, it's, it's beginning of September, right? Right now is the September 1st. Um, there's hardly anyone here. Um, it's early in the morning around 9, 9, 9.20 and uh, just a great time to check it out. You got a little peace and quiet, scope everything out. Um, you don't have a ton of tourists here. If you're coming during the summer, definitely don't go like midday because it's crazy packed. And it gets super hot. Yes, insanely hot. All the heat bouncing off the, the rocks. But uh, yeah, 200, uh, excuse me, 2 million visitors a year. That, that's, it's insane. And then if you're living here, like I love, got some extra time. I'll just get in the car and just drive around Garden of the Gods because it's pretty damn impressive to see these rock formations. And uh, you know you're having a tough morning, and you know you head out on your lunch break, and you just drive through Garden of the Gods. Like it'll definitely perk you up and make your make the rest of the day a little bit better. But a little bit of history about the, the park. So um, known human history goes back 3,000 years. Um, uh, quite a bit of uh, Indian activity, like within the park. Um, it was a very common ground for for different tribes to um, come to and. It, it was it was thought of like as a as a holy ground and they respected it they didn't um, fight they didn't have any disturbances so they would come here and they would use this area as like a trading ground and then there's freaking dinosaur remains still in the park 
I would try and uh, tell you what the dinosaur name was, but there's no way I can pronounce it. We're just going to go with pterodactyl. <laughs> Definitely not pterodactyl, but something close <laughs> to that. And another cool fact about the, the park is over a hundred bighorn sheep call Garden of the Gods home. Um, when you're um, walking through or riding through Garden of the Gods, you will see a lot of wildlife, which is pretty impressive. Um, like I said, it's just an amazing place to come and visit. Um, if you're only here for a short time, you absolutely have to come check it out. If you're living here, it's really easy to forget that we have this incredible park here and to not take advantage of it. But man, when I come over here every single time, I'm like re-energized and I think to myself, I need to come to this park more often. And if you're a runner, fabulous place to run. You've got trails, you've got the road. Um, running over here after a good snowfall is pretty amazing too because the scenery is just unbelievably gorgeous. Um, so I highly recommend it. You definitely have to, to utilize it. It's an amazing space. Once again, over 1,300 acres and it's all for you. Hey guys, thanks so much for checking out our video of Garden of the Gods. 
it is a beautiful, beautiful park, but it's not as good on camera as it is in person. So when you're here in Colorado Springs, make sure you get to Garden of the Gods Park and check it out on foot. There's truly nothing like it. As always, be sure to hit the like and subscribe button so you get notified the next time we drop a video. Jacob? We are full-time realtors, so if you have any questions about the area or homes in the area, be sure to call us, text us, come knock on his door, whatever you have to do to get a hold of us, and we will definitely help you out. Hey guys, y'all have a great day. We'll see you at our next video. Bye.